late winter here in New Zealand and conifers are starting to develop male cones which produce pollen and female cones with ovules which develop into seed containing pine cones. Investigating reproduction in conifers is extremely challenging because trees don't produce cones till they are six or eight years old. It can take more than 10 years to obtain results. Hi, my name is Agnieszka Boroń and I'm plant biotechnologist. My work focuses on understanding which genes control conifer fertility. I want to find out how to regulate these genes to create sterile trees. Conifer sterility requires inhibition of both male and female cones and no one has succeeded in the, doing this yet. The first step is to identify which gene is absolutely essential for cone formation. We do this by working out which genes are turned on and which genes are switched off before and during cone formation. I can start to identify active genes by looking at transcriptome data, a representation of the in-messenger RNA expressed at a certain time. Based on transcriptome data, we can identify genes which are involved in the transition from vegetative to reproductive status. Once we have identified the target genes, we can edit them using bioengineering techniques. Editing genes is a bit like editing a document. Molecular scissors are used to cut both strands of DNA at specified site, snipping out the unwanted text. By inactivating the target gene, sterile conifers will be created for the first time. There is no current conifer model to test gene function and phenotype. We will develop a model system that will allow us to rapidly identify and test the genes that are important in the early development of male and female cones. From germplasm to mature sterile trees is a long process, but sterile conifers are the solution to a number of problems faced by plantation forestry in New Zealand. The most serious is the spread of pest pines, called wildings, which threaten over 1.8 million hectares of fragile ecosystems throughout the country. Short-term methods are not controlling the wildings. Using modern biotechnology to develop sterile conifers is an effective long-term solution to the problem. My dream is that one day planted forests and native bush will both have the place in New Zealand landscapes to preserve special places like this.